Hello everyone, it's Steve with Eptair Owners Club. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about this cool little calculator that I found called the PV Watts Calculator. It's uh, created by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, and um, I will put a link to the URL here below. But basically, it um, allows you to calculate about how many miles you would get um, on your Aptera a little bit more accurately than um, Aptera's own website would. So let's put in, you know, put in the address of uh, where you're going to, where you live. So I'm going to put like Wilmington, North Carolina. Okay, so let's go with Wilmington, North Carolina. So here we are, Wilmington, North Carolina. And then you go to system information. And then first you want to put your system size so what do we know about the Aptera? We know it's using Maxion Gen 3 solar cells. Each of these solar cells is 3.72 watts. So then we will bring in 3.72 watts times. And then now we've calculated exactly how many solar cells are on the delta, which is 193. Uh, that gives you a system that's 718 watts. Okay, so 718 watts. Let's go in here and put in 0 0.718 watts. Now, module type. If you look here, it tells you standard, premium, or thin film. Uh, premium is a nominal efficiency of 21%. Uh, the Maxion Gen 3 are uh, nominal efficiency of 24%, so better than premium, but um, premium is the best they have, so we will go with premium. An array type. Um, you can have one that tracks, but um, unless you're reparking your Aptera like every 10 minutes, you're probably not tracking. So it's going to be fixed and open. Open means it's on ground and there's air movement over it uh, rather than roof mounted. So we're going to put fixed open rack. Okay, so that's how we're going. Then system losses. Let's go to the loss generator. So this is soiling. That's if you get dirt on there, we're going to assume we're going to keep the Aptera clean. Shading. We're going to assume that we're going to put it, park it someplace where there's no shade, then no snow. Um, this is mismatching from imperfections. We'll leave that wiring, connections, degradation, nameplate rating, age. And then availability means that there's like downtime from for uh, maintenance and other operational factors. So we're going to assume that there's no downtime because uh, hopefully it's not broken. Okay, so then estimated system losses are 6.81%. So we'll save that. And then tilt, this is... The angle at which the um, the array is with the sun. Now you know the the roof is going to be pretty much zero because it's flat, and then the 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 hatch will be tilted probably like ten degrees or something. Um, but then the uh, the dash is like zero degrees, and then the hood will be tilted the opposite direction. So the hood and the hatch will be tilted in opposite direction so if you have it tilted uh, optimally for the um, hatch then the hood is going to be like worse so i'm going to just say uh let this is the part that's like not exactly accurate but let's just say zero like it pretend it's like a flat um, array and then azimuth that's the um ang you know angle to in terms of direction now the optimal angle is to just pick make it south facing so that's what we're going to do we're going to assume that you've uh, uh aligned the thing probably rear to the, the south is the most optimal because then that would give your hatch the best angle to the sun okay so that's what we're going to do 180 and then uh we're going to go to results Okay, so here is the results. This is how many um, kilowatt hours per year that you would get. Okay, so let's do some calculations here. Um, if if this is uh, 975 kilowatt hours, and then we're assuming that you're going to get 10 miles per kilowatt hour times 10, so you will get an extra 9,750 miles per year divided by... 365, uh, that's going to be about 27 miles per day on average throughout the year. Now, of course, this energy is not equally distributed throughout the year, as you can see. So January, December is going to be the worst, and July is going to be the best. So like, let's find the worst case scenario, December. You're going to have, um, uh, let's see, 44 kilowatts that 
kilowatt hours that uh, month. Um, and then you divide that by 30 days. That's how many, um, uh, I did, sorry, I did multiplication, not division. I need to uh, be better at math here. Okay, so this is how many kilowatt hours. So times 10. So in December, in Wilmington, as long as you keep your car clean and you park it out of the shade, if you park it in a fully lit place with the back headed south, you should get about 14 to 15 miles per day in December. Okay, and then let's fi find July. So 109 divided by 30 times 10. Okay, so 36 miles per day in uh, July. Okay, so that's kind of fun. So you can um, make this go to uh, whatever location you want. So like, let's change location. Let's say we're going to go someplace like Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. So there you go. We, oh, shoot. They changed our um, system size. We have to input all this again, which kind of sucks. I thought we could just like change the uh, location and it would keep everything else the same. So 0 0.718. Uh, premium, fixed, system loss is the same, tilt zero, angle that. Okay, so then let's calculate our results. Boom. Okay, so 884 in Boston. So 884 divided by 365 times 10. So 24 miles per day. So, you know, not bad. Uh, Wilmington to Boston, uh, not that big of a difference. Now, December in Boston is going to be 28 divided by 30 times 10. You're going to get nine miles a day in December. Um, whereas in July, it's actually might be better. 112 divided by 30 times 10. Yeah, you can get 37.3 in Boston in the probably because of the longer days up north. Okay, um, let's let's try a different location just for fun. Uh, someplace high and uh, kind of cloudy. Maybe let's let's look at Seattle. Seattle probably, I'm guessing, is going to be pretty bad. Seattle, Washington. Okay, they're making us do this all over again. Um, premium fix zero. Okay, and then results. Okay, yeah, so pretty bad. Um, 787.49 divided by 365 times 10. Okay, you're look. Okay, I did something wrong. 749 divided by 365 times 10. Okay, so you're getting an average of 20 mile, 20.5 miles per day um, here. And then in December, it's 15 divided by 30. Um, okay, sorry. Again, multiplying. 15 divided by 30 uh, times 10. Okay, so you're getting five miles a day. Um, although in July, it's still pretty good. It's July is 112, so that's going to be 37 miles per day. So it just it uh, it's really going to hurt you in the winter, probably because it's so cloudy. Um, I'm guessing that's kind of the worst case scenario. Well, I guess it would be really w worse in like Anchorage. Yeah, let's look at let's look, let's look at Anchorage for fun. Okay, this will be the last one we do. But uh, you can see how you could put it for your exact location, and you're going to get m much better information and much more granular information than you're going to get from Aptera's own solar calculator. All right, here we go. Yes, yeah, so pretty terrible. Six <laughs> fifty one divided by three sixty five. Okay, so that's eight, about 18 miles. About 18 miles a day on average. However, in December, you're going to get ridiculously bad. Uh, in December, you're going to get 1.3 miles per day. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty pathetic. However, in June, because of the ridiculously long days in Alaska, 117... Uh, divide by 30 times 
yeah, you're gonna get uh, almost 40 miles a day in June, right? So the farther north you go, the more there's this huge disparity between December and the summer and the winter months. I think if in San Diego, it would be like more uh, evened out throughout the year. Okay, so really interesting. Um, you guys can play around with the system information how you like, and then put in your, uh, your location here, and then it should give you pretty accurate information about what kind of uh, solar range you should expect per day uh, in a given month and on average throughout the year. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, as always, to our supporting members. Um, have a great day. Again, uh, link to this website will be in the uh, description below. Thanks for watching, guys.